He's not going to be here. He'll be here. So I've been invited to the Goodwood Festival of Speed by Ford, and uh, they've just given me the keys to a Mustang. The maniacs. He was at a car festival doing car stuff all weekend. He's definitely left us for cars. I said he'll be here. <laughs> but what if he has given up his old life and left us for a bunch of cars? Well, then Andy will just have to discuss 2019 car driving game grid without him. <laughs> oh, you're serious. I'm driving a giant pickup truck. <laughs> the dictionary defines grid as a network of lines that cross each other to form a pattern of squares oh, and oh, oh, Sorry, I'm oh, late. thank goodness. All right, I'll just go then, shall I? Yeah, unless you've got anything else to say about grids. All right, fine. Oh, uh, let me your car keys real quick. No. Speaking of cars. I often am. I hear there's a new car game coming out called Grid, and you've played it. There is, and I have. Let's take a look at Grid. This is Grid. This is your actual Grid gameplay, here it is. So uh, I see, in all its glory. Yeah, uh, so this is a sort of reboot of uh, Race Driver Grid, which was okay. the game that came out back in the 360. It won BAFTAs, it was super well loved. Um, and this is some actual Xbox One X footage of the game. Uh, and this is me racing a, a muscle car around oh, Shanghai. Oh, that's you in that, in that little car, is it? That is me, yes. I can yeah, see you... your white driving suit. <laughs> yeah, if you zoomed in, it would be my terrified face. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, and it's just Grid. Yes, just Grid this time. it's something of a, would you reboot. call it a reboot? Yeah, it's, it's the fourth Grid game. Yeah. Um, but it's, that's one of the things I'm sort of slightly concerned about, okay. about this game, is that it is very much a sort of, uh, a, like a reboot, basically. A lot of the tracks look very similar. This Shanghai one is new, so yeah. this hasn't been in any, in any Grid games. But well, this looks quite nice. Yeah, it's quite pretty. Um, Urban Shanghai. Yeah, it's uh, it's that sort of um, yeah. Oh shiny. no! Oh, there's oh, a yes. oh, collision up That's ahead. That's a, a big oh, accident. Oh no! I'm terribly sorry. Wait, are you playing with real people, or was that the AI? No. So this is the thing. Oh, this is the no. thing they're talking about. Uh, yeah. Is um, they, their AI is supposed to be sort of unpredictable, and they want kind of. <laughs> I mean, uh, that is unpredictable. Yeah. <laughs> I did not predict that. A barrel rolling muscle car. Yeah, yeah. that's much more like a human, actual <laughs> online, you know, fellow yeah. player. So that's what they're going for. They're going for something kind of human. The way they've done the AI is to is to sort of give it um, various different things like little mistakes it can make, and they've okay. given them each of them. There's 472 AI in the game, and they've each got different wow. personality traits, and and sort wow. of, you know, some of them will break later into corners, some of them will okay. be, you know, like on the power earlier and things like that. Uh, they also have sort of. Um, kind of temperament so you might like if you accidentally bump into someone like I'm right. doing an awful lot of at the moment uh, one of if, them might be like revenge yeah exactly revenge basically <laughs> yeah exactly that nice uh, so vengeful AIs I love it they have a sort of like a, they have like an aggro meter almost that Sweet. Is, it's not like revealed but it's in the ticking away in the background okay and if they're quite see, chill their aggro meter might be quite high before yeah. they absolutely snap but right. if they're a really grumpy, uh, grouchy driver, trigger. <laughs> yeah. yeah, then okay. So and that's not procedural. That's that's like um, each one has a different one. You'll come one, to yeah. learn the AI characters in your game. Absolutely, yeah. And then so, you could compare notes with someone else playing the game. I mean, like, oh, that Reed Henderson, he's a yeah, bad one. He's a real yeah. jerk. Um, yeah, it's uh, that's the idea basically. Is that cool. each of these personalities are, are are sort of memorable, and the developers were saying. You know, you don't really ever re remember the names of the guys you race against in racing games. True, true. But um, that's what they want you to do in this, even with this sort of AI. So oh. um, I think Nick Whittle there is my teammate. Um, so you have a I teammate see. as well, and, and you have a better relationship with them. But you can also, like, they'll have stats as well, and one of their stats is kind of loyalty. So um, right. they you, you can kind of issue team orders, apparently. Um, and, and they'll obey you only if their loyalty is high enough. Yeah, exactly, yeah. So uh, you might want to hire a teammate who's really fast and is going to get you good results but he might not move out of the way say if you want him out of the way so you can win the race basically sweet um, okay so, so some interesting stuff in there um that's really the the very big sort of that's the, the sort of big innovation um what's this track the, here are we still in oh we're still in shanghai but, yeah, but so at this night is, this is so shanghai got a day night cycle right yeah so it's, it's got um or it's day not night like settings a, yeah it's day night settings basically right, so right, it right. won't change as you as you go but there's some really nice sort of 
nighttime sort of lights and sunsets and things, and also rain, so there's wet weather, which I think is a first for the Grid series as well. Uh-huh. Um, but yeah, it's it's very, I mean, very reminiscent of the, the original game, but with a bit of a, a bit of extra sort of next gen polish, basically. Okay. Uh, cool. Lots of lots of street circuits. Uh, I yep. believe there's four street circuits and eight sort of more conventional race tracks. Um, but yeah, San Francisco is identical. Like the track is the the original track from the very start of the first grid is in there. Fun. Um, Golden Gate Bridge, that kind of thing. Yeah, exactly. That stuff. Yeah, and all those big sort of. Uh, bullet style jumps and things down the down the hills in uh, in San Francisco. So that's there. Um, there's a, a, another sort of um, throwback to another grid game was is the kind of Japanese mountain pass type thing, the sort of initial D anime uh, style stuff. Uh, so that that's back and it's the same circuit again. And then things like Brands Hatch and you know more conventional racing circuits. Silverstone's in there. Uh, Sepang in Malaysia, places like that. So, so it's going to be... be pretty nostalgic for people who are familiar with Grid, yeah. I, I think so. Yeah, yeah. My my only concern is that it might be to a fault. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. If it's, if it's the same sort of stuff you were playing how many years ago, um, it might get old a bit quick. But um, I'll sort of reserve judgment until I've played the, the full thing. But um, it's coming out in November, mm. uh, basically. The, the release date slipped slightly, and I think this this code that we played was a little bit buggy. Um, there were various little bits and bobs uh, that, that sort of glitched out and stuff, but um, but by and large, I mean it, it sort of handles in that kind of like arcadey grid way that everyone's used to. It's sort mm-hmm. of very slidey. The cars are quite a little bit floaty, so you can kind of sort of dance them around corners almost. Um, sure. Even big things like these giant sort of stock cars. So again, this is uh, another different configuration of the Shanghai circuit. So each city area will have yeah. different configurations. Um, and uh, and this is in the wet. The ladies in front, Maria yeah. and Claire. Absolutely, yeah. So uh, nice yeah, one. male and female drivers, obviously. And this this gets real messy. This one. Oh, I'm be oh this honest. is messy. <laughs> oh, what happened there? So You're going um, sideways. I know. I kind of sent. I mean, it down I don't know a lot about driving, but I know you, the the front of the car is meant to point it's, forward. Yes, that is generally recommended um but yeah these are big sort of american style stock cars lots of okay. horsepower so difficult to handle on a wet track on a street circuit that's quite narrow um so you'll get to see the sort of aggro system uh, in action when i make a uh, right. when i make an enemy for life so there you go there's one of the ai drivers enemy's all over the road that yeah. way yeah, so he made again like a sort of mistake. But what they were saying was they've kind of cranked up the mistakes for when we were playing because they oh, wanted us to so see, see kind of dramatic stuff. That's uh, fun. It won't be quite as chaotic, maybe. I kind of uh, like it. Life. I kind of like the chaos. So this guy uh, Levi Vandenberg, he's yeah. my, uh, he's my, he's about to become my nemesis, basically. Oh sweet. Um, and when they become your nemesis, they yeah. uh, they basically. Um, behave more aggressively towards you and you only and their singular focus becomes beating you on the track which is kind of hilarious so um, if they get in front of you they'll be trying to block you really aggressively um, and uh, and stuff like that wait is that a formalized system like is it specifically designated as a nemesis yeah you'll see it in a moment okay it's coming up by the way all these onlookers really need to stand back those barriers I know yeah that that little bit of concrete is not going to protect you when they're scraping along those barriers oh that's uh, that's gone terribly wrong genuinely They don't even flinch, those onlookers. They're so hardcore. They love it. So the rewind things back as well, that was something that was kind of, if not originated by Grid, then definitely sort of popularised by it, the ability to rewind stuff. And obviously that's in the F1 games now, and it's in uh, Dirt Rally and things like that. It just makes it a little bit more uh, accessible for for, um, some newcomers. That looked like a pretty good pass. I was quite pleased with that one. Oh no, I've clipped the out- outside. Uh, Again, this uh, guy's literally hanging their hands over the barrier. I know, you're going to scrape someone's idea. arm off. Just smear it against the barrier. Um, yeah, so uh, so uh. that's back in. But there's also a respawn thing. Nemesis! Okay, so I've now got a nemesis. Yes! Um, and I feel Levi like that was his fault. So look, he's piled in front of me now and he's just steaming ahead. And basically, if I try and overtake him, he's going to like block me, basically. Sweet. And, and try and run me off the road. Um, look, see, so he's like coming across what the road villain. there. Exactly, yeah, yeah. So the idea is that you'll build up these kind of rivalries and, and relationships with the different drivers. And they uh, last over multiple races. It's not. I within believe a so. Race. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. believe it'll be easier to tick that guy off again in, in the next race. Um, so yeah, he's like really dri- driving defensively. He's not really concentrating on his own race. He's trying to sort of 
ruin yeah. mine, basically. The only, the only, his only goal is just <laughs> yeah. to stop you. Basically, yeah. So it becomes a lot like playing in an online multiplayer match with yeah. someone who's like a lap down. It's and, like and my fault to drive a tar. Yeah. It's and I eventually aggressive. ended up crashing into the barrier, which oh. I'm blaming entirely on Levi. Oh yeah, he took you out. I know, you down. I know. So this is the other sort of weird, slightly weird new thing is that when you've run out of flashbacks, there's just a respawn thing. So it will respawn oh. the car when oh, you're back in the race. All right. And then this is not me playing, but this is sort of uh, uh. How, it, how it could look, basically, um, when it's kind of polished up and things. So lots of lens flare. But this, as you'll see, is the kind of... Um, this is the San Francisco course from the original grid. It has this big hairpin at the so start. And then you go up the hills and on the left. And it's, it, it was kind of weird to see it basically looking like an up version of the original game. And yeah, that's, yeah. My, my slight concern is the, is the amount of content... Um, I'm sort of worried that there might not be enough circuits and mm -hmm. that some of them are, are ones that are sort of reused from previous grid games. Uh, and that's my only real concern. There's some really nice choices in there. So there's a nice selection of cars. There's like old school touring cars and there's, um, uh, we're only allowed to show the sort of muscles and the muscle cars and the stock cars, but there's kind of old school touring cars that you might remember from sort of like Toka style stuff, Toka touring car games. Uh, and there's a bunch of modern GT cars. There's like prototypes. There's another guy rolling it. Again, they've said the, they're gonna, you're only going to see those very sort of rarely, like someone actually so barrel rolling the car. But they way. look amazing. Yeah. And graphically, this is this is more representative of the gameplay we were seeing before. Is that, that the idea? The, I, th I think so. Yeah. I mean, I th it's still very early, and like I said, a bit buggy. There was I did have a, a, a bug, which I'm assured will be ironed out but where one of the cars disappeared and so it was just a hovering driver like floating around the Amazing. track. Amazing. Again, keep it in. <laughs> yeah, I love it. More um, chaos. Sort of like, a, you know, like Wonder Woman, when Wonder Woman had like yeah, an the invisible jet. jet. The invisible That's, racing car. Yeah, exactly. Um, but I, I promise not to show it because it would have been a bit mean. Um, I think that's probably fair. <laughs> yeah. But Just uh, yeah. describe it in detail. <laughs> yeah, instead, it's fine. You can imagine it. It's, yeah. it's fine. Well, it's like, oh, who's that Louis? Levi, I mean. No, it's Patrick. Uh, oh, so Patrick Callahan Jr. is like the the oh, is your ne the oh the nem sorry, yes, this isn't your footage, but that is no. the nemesis in this scenario. Yes, exactly. So he's now he's now ticked off as well. Um, so yeah, it's 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 interesting. I like what they're doing with the AI. Uh, it's cinematic. That's the idea. It's sort of supposed to be cinematic, dramatic, motorsport stuff. And I really like some of the car selections. My only concern is that this is a hundred percent a track from the first grid, yeah. and I've raced it many many times. However, if you're game. a young racing game player and you've never true. played a grid game, this is all new to you. Absolutely, so. yeah, it's true. It's a fair point because oh. the original grid was sort of two thousand seven, oh, two thousand eight. You know, the original grid was. Um, you know, 10 years ago nearly now. So, um, so yeah, it's all new exactly. people Exactly. Like Time for a new generation of gridders. Also, exactly. while we're here, why yes. is it called grid? Because um, that's a racing grid is where you line the cars up and it's a full, it was in that But they're period. not aligned in a grid-like pattern of, of squares or rectangles. No, I know, but it's it's like, um, in the same way that like American football is grid iron. It uh -huh. it's, not an, it's not an actual grid. Not a grid grid, but I see. But it looks a bit like, okay. a bit like a grid. There you go. I'm making a point. I'll tell Andy. I'll go tell Andy, shall I? <laughs> yeah, you, you go I'll and let me know. Wait, so it's not about a network of lines that cross each other to form a pattern of squares and rectangles? Not even. What? I know. I was as shocked as you are. I'm furious. I'll tell you what, would some lovely YouTube comments help to calm you down? I don't know, Jane. That being said, there have been plenty of video games based on source material so weird or dark or uniquely unsuited to being a video game that we're amazed they ever got greenlit in the first place. Calm. Good. Not thinking about grids. Being better. Not Great. thinking about any kind of square. Do you remember that video? Yes, about I do. The about things. the weird things that got adapted into video games. Would you like a comment? Oh, I would. The Divine Comedy is basically a self-insert fanfic, says Samimi the Bee. He gets to meet Virgil Senpai, everyone thinks he's awesome, he gets to see people he doesn't like suffer, while people he does like get to rewards. And he gets to meet God. The rest shall be sentenced to the circles below. The Divine Comedy is a 14th century epic poem that, as long as there are no follow-up questions, I've definitely read. Okay, good. I love Virgil Senpai. As a yeah, thing. I never thought of... I never thought of the Divine, the Divine Comedy, comedy yes. like that, but actually that's bang on, isn't it? Yeah, Dante's like, oh no, I'm in hell, and there's everyone who's ever wronged me being punished in hell no, it's for a, all their rubbish deeds. It was a real shame how everyone who yeah. wronged me is being oh, look, horribly punished here in hell now. There's Steve, my noisy neighbour, being raked over the coals. 
<laughs> as he deserves and God agrees. <laughs> anyway, I'm leaving hell now because I'm great and I won't be staying And here. everyone's like, you're the best, Dante! And, <laughs> and then, yeah, all the girls who rejected me in high school, there's a level of hell for them as well. Brrr, all wow. the football jocks, they're all down there as well. The guy who works at the post office and told me he couldn't mail my package, he's in there. <laughs> I didn't know it was, you were allowed to do that. I write your own fanfic about, like, um, cosmological metaphysical religious stuff yeah well it was back when in those days you could sort of write anything really and it would be considered <laughs> a classic if they found it later okay, so little okay. literature so from you're that saying time now survives. is the time for us to write our divine comedy yeah and then when they find it when they rediscover it in centuries and centuries yeah. they'll be like it's probably true all that stuff is is probably how hell and heaven works yeah so if you wrote a, like a, a fan fiction on the internet which is about you going into space and you went to a planet where everyone was going like, to need some sort of cosmological, religious, metaphysical element. Yeah. Here. So yeah, space god. I met space god. I met space and space god. god was like, Jane, hey, yeah. you're the best. Yeah, and everyone. And I'm who'd... like, I always suspected. And then they yeah. find it in centuries' time, and they'll be like, well, obviously it's true because it was written all that time ago. Yeah. That's and then cool. it, yeah, let me show you around space hell. This is where the guy who wears those horrible toe shoes in the gym. That's him. <laughs> There. There's that guy who sneezed on you on the tube. Yeah, yeah, so yeah the person you... Also, he's in hell and I'm like, I knew it! I knew <laughs> he'd be here! Susbanal says, what about Eternal Sonata, a JRPG in which you play classical Polish composer Frédéric Chopin as he dies from tuberculosis? It's said that people can have the most peaceful dreams just before they pass on. You're a strange man, Frédéric. No, it's true. Everything around us is all a part of my dream. Oh, oh man. Yeah. Eternal <laughs> this Sonata. This is a weird premise. Eternal Sonata is amazing. It's the most like Japanese RPG ever. Is Japan yet... especially popular in Japan or was there an anime? Uh, an anime? An anime. <laughs> I love the an anime. The one the thing state. you know about me, Andy, is that I love the animes. If you love animes. the animes, no. Jane's always watching animes. Is there an anime about Chopin that this was sort not of inspired by? that I'm aware of. Okay, But I think right. they were like, oh, Chopin, he's like a high-class guy. And what like if classical were also... music and the elegance and beauty of the co that period. And, yeah. yeah. Okay, I but understand. But also, it's he's like a super kawaii version of Chopin who's yes, like, of yeah extremely beautiful and dressed extremely well and he's just like fighting boars in a forest. Uh-huh. Like, but it's do. like a sort of Jacob's Ladder type situation. Yeah, where... I think so. It's all taking place in his dying mind. But I just like the idea that Chopin's dying mind is like... Boars! Yeah, bring boars. me ten boar pelts <laughs> and you can level up your sword. Someone's like by his deathbed like, what's that? Boars? Yeah. Boars. Chopin. Oh my god, his final words. They Should must have notes. incredible meaning. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, it's, um, if you haven't seen Eternal Sonata, I would recommend checking it out. In fact, let's just have a clip here. Just enjoy this. Listen, Hugh Gromit! Yeah, weird. Great. Weird. Great suggestion, though. If we ever do a common tradition, that's going in. That's wicked. Yeah, yeah, well done. Okay, another comment. Okay. Ahem, Pepsi Man says, anime with a toy Freddy 1987. So, anime, actually, I believe it's pronounced anime. I mean, that's... That's the commenter name. Sure. But the comment. Yes, is now, about Pepsi Man. Do you know about Pepsi Man? I am vaguely You're aware. You're vaguely aware of, of his work Man. and existence. Yeah. So I had to go and root around on the internet for this because I, I must admit I only had the the barest awareness I mean, of the Japanese Pepsi mascot called Pepsi Man, mm. created and popularized in the 90s, who was then star of a 1999 PlayStation 1 game, which yeah. was Japan only as well, sure. that sort of made its way over here because it is so weird and memeable. Yeah. Let's have a clip right now. I think it's pronounced so, yeah. Pepsi Man. Pepsiman. Like John, Pepsiman John Pepsiman is the name of the, of the, of the Boston Pepsi. Yeah, and then he's bitten by a radioactive Pepsi. <laughs> <laughs> and he well, gets all the powers so of Pepsi. He looks like the T1000 if yeah. the T1000 had Pepsi sponsorship. What are his powers? He's like Can shiny, he... has no face. Yeah. Duh! Yeah, the, yeah, yeah, exactly. It's unsettlingly Correct. muscular. Uh, he's incredibly much. Maybe he's just a man in a shiny in a zentai, zentai suit. Who just loves Pepsi. Does he have any Pepsi powers? Can he fire Pepsi out of his hands? Or? Well, in the get, yeah, he can like manifest Pepsi. Pepsi man! Wow! 
So I'm just imagining I someone think. like, oh God, can anyone help me? I need a Coke. And he's like, manifest Pepsi, Pepsi okay? okay? And they're like, and no. They're like, no, I really wanted a Coke. <laughs> okay. But in the game, he actually has to collect Pepsis. What? Well, if he can around. manifest Pepsi, why does he have well, to collect I know. Pepsi? It's a, it's a nightmare. F figure it out, Pepsi. Oh God. There was a real boon of these like these games based on fast mascots. food mascots yeah, yeah, in the yeah. 90s. Sure. There was the cool Noid. Spot. The Noid, the, yeah. yeah, the, uh, the Wasn't pizza, there a Chubba 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 pizza. Chubba 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 and that was to do with the sponsorship That was thing. to do with the sponsorship, yeah. Well, that seems so. like a real blast from the past. That, that's quite yeah. retro. They're trying to bring it back. Way. Don't think it's going to work. Pepsi Man, though. Pepsi Man. Terrifying. That's the next Marvel Cinematic Pepsi Universe. Pepsi Man. Yeah. A new Avenger. Mm. Pepsi oh, Man. no, like a new league. It's all like soft drinks. <laughs> Just imagining the Avengers all sitting around and Pepsi Man's filling up their glasses with disturbingly body temperature Pepsi. <laughs> Why would it be funny? Because it's coming out of his body. No, he's not. He's like magically manifesting it. It's not like he produces it like a fluid. Sorry. Hi everyone, welcome back to Outside Xbox. I'm Andy, joined by Jane and Mike. Hello. And we are here in Hitman 2. Yeah, in, we are. Uh, New York. This is the new bank level. Fancy. Uh, it looks a bit like Grand Central Station. So Hitman 2 there. Yeah. yeah. First expansion pack, New York. I know. Pretty cool. Grand Central Station looking bank. Yeah. Really, How about that? Yeah. It was, it was, uh, what did you think of the level? It's I gorgeous. I, uh, I think we need to dive back in and do a proper three ways to play. Because that video was just like the one way to play. Yeah. Where we go through kind of path of least resistance. Yeah. Do some fun stuff but I think we need to dig into it. And it did, we, I feel like we just went along the one path, so. It did really remind me of that level in the um, PS4 Spider-Man game, where you're Mary Jane sneaking around inside Grand Central Station. Okay. It is so much like fair, that. Fair, that's fair. But um, yeah, we should do a three ways to play. We do still have the three ways to play for the Isle of Scale it's coming up. It's, the editing is taking a long time. I had a real hard time with my playthrough, um, which you will find out when you watch the end video but I had all sorts of problems. So look forward to that. It was one overarching problem that, that cascaded and created lots yeah, more problems. Yeah, there was a lot. Yeah, it was a sort of domino effect of, uh, of problems. I've watched some, I haven't watched any of your playthrough yet. I watched my. Have you not? It was it's... such a, you know, honestly, we recorded such a long time ago that I, I, I can barely even remember how I murdered everyone. Yeah, Mike's, So it'll be a nice surprise for us as well. Mike's taken an extremely Mike approach to things. So okay. that's something to look forward to as yeah, well. Yeah, those three ways to play are very, complex edits. When we published the Hitman 2 New York, there, uh, there was a, a couple of comments that were like, hey, you kind of skipped one, it's yeah. kind of out of order. Where's the scale? Scale. Scale. Where's the last level from Hitman 2? It is coming. It's on the, the way. Expansion? It'll happen. It'll mm -hmm. happen. Keep your socks on. It, it's coming. Yeah, but uh, um, on this level, the yes. New York playthrough, uh, let's have some comments. The minute 47 walked into the vault, Andy went from sneaky assassin to kleptomaniac. Corazon says Josh Pirini. Oh, amazing. All right. Ho, 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 yes. A hobby knife. Is that what you're excited about? No, this fat stacks. How much? Stradivarius. <laughs> oh, I'm having that. Oh my God, how much cool stuff was there in that vault though? There was like gold bars, there were Fabergé eggs, there was a Stradivarius violin. Just lying around. And yeah. Is that how they sort things in bank vaults? Just leave them lying around. Just like a Scrooge McDuck pile of treasures. I felt there were all the safety deposit box rooms as well. Yes. But it's like... There's that, but also we'll just pile stuff higgledy piggledy in the vault. I as mean, well. uh, I mean, who among us has been inside a high security New York fancy bank vault? Maybe that is how it looks. I haven't. I've been one, in one day, just one day, Andy. I'd like us to have a security box. That... Yeah. What if With we? With Fabergé eggs in it. Yeah. What if we had one that we each had a key to, oh. and the last one alive gets to go? Gets to yeah, and yeah, but then a we tom, would. Was it called a tom tom teen? Teen. Yeah. yeah. What if we had not? I think they're illegal. Tom also, you would kill me and Mike immediately and get the. Oh, that's keys. true. Is that why yeah. they're illegal? <laughs> yeah, I think so. Yeah. They're such such a motive to murder people. That's true. They're like, maybe don't. Yeah, that is true. Maybe don't do that. Okay. But um, yeah, it's. Uh, I, I feel like at the end of that mission, we walked out of the bank with over a million dollars worth of gold. Yeah. So. Agent How much are we getting paid for this assassination? He's not in it for the money, like we said. He does it for the love of, of killing. Pretty sure those gold bars are another entry for the next non-lethal takedowns that totally kill people, says Edward Gurney. We only need to get out of here with three of them. <laughs> now. And you. Pow. 
<laughs> Are they? I mean, gold's a famously soft metal. But it's very, very, very heavy. Yeah, but, you know, it's soft. You just hit someone with it and it would just mould to the shape but of their heads, probably. They're soft and they're soft. It's not soft like a marshmallow. It's soft among metals. Coming to Stephen Hosey says, you have done some horrific things in Hitman, but tampering with Wi-Fi is just sadistic. Can we turn off her Wi-Fi? Okay. She'll get so annoyed. She'll hate that. I would hate that. Wi-Fi yes. and director's office disabled. She's going to be so mad. That didn't even work in the end. No, I don't think she was that bothered that we turned off her Wi-Fi. Well, also, if you're, if you're literally the manager of this bank, you're probably not going to fix your own Wi-Fi. You're not going to turn your own router off and on again. Yeah, maybe it was a way to get, like, the IT the guy. The IT. Ah, uh, because you know what? Outfit. The ugly jumper yeah. that we were all about. Although that guy had been... Let go. He's a banker who got fired. Apparently, if you're wearing that, you can get like a meeting with the bank manager because you can go up and ask to like demand to know why you're being fired. Oh, like fired. an exit interview kind of thing. Yeah. I don't think you're allowed an exit interview with like the owner yeah, and manager yeah. of the entire bank. But yeah, presumably you, you can. Do you remember the guy that we, the we hit with the Stradivarius? I think was the IT, was the IT? guy. Uh, I think he was on his way up. This priceless violin is going to go yeah. over the head of this IT guy. Yes. Got a hit violin him. lesson for you. Uh, oh, no. Uh, <laughs> oh no! <laughs> that came apart so brilliantly. So Continue to escape. So maybe. maybe that's why I didn't do anything when we turned the Wi-Fi off. No one came to fix it because the IT guy was unconscious in a cupboard or something. What I thought it was a shame that we didn't realise you could do is apparently you can tamper with the glass panel in the clock that she yeah. stands in front of. So you know we we walked up and we booted around yeah, the yeah, window. Yeah. Put your hand on that window. Like yes. ants, don't they? Push, push. Yeah. Yay. Yay. Oh, <laughs> oh wow. body found. Apparently you can just fiddle with that, so she walks up and leans on the thing and just, go, <laughs> just goes straight through it. That's such a Which comedy is, pratfall yeah. with such lethal results. I love that. Also, so just like it, I like to think, and I, I guess we'll have to find out later, yeah. that it like totally flips around yeah, and, and then she falls through slides. and then it just right, the glass panel writes itself. Yeah. And so it's a, it's a real Jonathan Creek style mystery where people come in and are like, how did she fall through this perfectly intact plate of glass? Well, also, I think if you set it up properly, if you yeah. fiddle with the thing, you yeah. probably have enough time to make it back down into the lobby so you can be stood there with the crowd and be, oh no. <laughs> be stood there where she's going to land yeah, and perfect accidentally alibi. murder yourself. Yeah, right in yeah. the splash zone. But yeah, we need to try that out. Maybe if if we do do a three ways to play. play, I think that'd be a fun one to try out. That, yeah. Okay, all right. Let's, let's earmark that for one of us. And, uh, and yeah, you feel calmer now? Yeah, a little bit. Is that about grids? Oh, you've, you no, you've reminded I've me reminded now. It's not about now. grids anymore. It's what? Not, it, was uh, it? You see, I thought it was because the cars were arranged in a grid. Yeah. But they're sort of offset, aren't they? That's not even a grid. <laughs> oh my God, I'm furious. All right, that helped not at all. Back to the show. There you have it. One show of the week, as promised. Now it's time for you to hold up your end of the bargain. That's right. I need you to collect as many puffy stickers and or shiny stickers as possible. Stuff them in a padded envelope. Post them to Jane Douglas, care of Outside what? Xbox, care of gaming. What, what? Normally we just ask people to click the like button and maybe hit the bell icon. Just wanted some stickers, right? Please click the like button and hit the bell icon if you want to be notified when we do a video. It's just like stickers. I wanted some. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. What's the point of any of this if I don't get stickers, Mike? <laughs> All right. Well, I'm off. But you just got here. Yeah. Well, the thing about cars, Andy, is if you let them sit too long, the tires get flat spots. Is that true? Yeah. And the carburetor gets carbonized. Oh, yeah, I have heard that. Oh, you better go then. Yeah, I know. Right. But hurry, man. Wow. Oh, that was close. Yeah. Probably. Cars. I expect. Cars, man. Yeah.